हेलो एवरीबॉडी सो वेलकम टू आर आई क्लासेस दिस क्लासेस आर रिलेटेड टू द इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड आई थिंक द एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स विल बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दिस क्लासेस सो टूडेज फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस आई सी क्लासेस दे आर बेस्ड ऑन मेटल लिगेंड बॉन्डिंग सो वट इज द नेचर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग in between metal and ligand in metal complexes and there are several theories uh, which dis already discuss the nature of bonding in between metal and ligand and these includes werner's theory werner's theory then valence bond theory then cft theory and in this uh, class we are going to discuss about the lft theory According to valence bond theory, the nature of metal ligand bonding was covalent. While according to CFT theory, the nature of bond was electrostatic attraction between metal and ligand. So, because there are certain uh, certain limitations of the theories, previous theories, so new theories they came into existence due to their limitations. So now we are discussing. the limitations of cft so what are the limitations of cft the limitations of cft first of all according to cft the nature of metal ligand bonding is purely ionic while according to fajan's rule no bonding can be purely ionic or purely covalent so this is a failure this is a reason for the failure of cft second one cft considered only d orbitals that are participating in metal ligand bonding but there are other orbitals like s p f which are not considered in the bonding according to cft so this is the another limitation of cft then cft cannot give why the strength of one ligand is greater than the strength of another ligand so uh, it cannot explain the relative strength of some ligands like h2 and oh minus both of these ligands they have hydrogen and oxygen but the strength of h2 is greater than that of oh minus so why it is so it cannot be explained by cft theory cft theory can't consider multiple bonding or pi bonding there is there are the evidences of pi bonding in metal complexes which cannot be explained by cft theory another limitation is that cft theory can't explain charge transfer spectra so due to these limitations cft needs to be modified it needs to be modified okay so ligand field theory or molecular orbital theory it came to existence to overcome the limitations of ligand field theory there are so now we consider lft lft or ligand field theory this is ligand field theory or it can be considered as mot that is molecular orbital theory of metal complexes okay so for uh, effective overlapping of atomic orbitals for effective overlapping of atomic orbitals some conditions are to be fulfilled and these conditions which have to be fulfilled was efficient overlapping these conditions are symmetry so symmetry of atomic orbitals orbitals of metals that should be same as that of ligand 
orbitals. Okay, so symmetry must be similar. As in case of this, can this is also already explained by valence bond theory that the uh, overlapping orbitals should have the same symmetry. Then second one is the energy different difference between the overlapping orbitals should not very large it should be almost same so the, the energy difference between the overlapping orbitals that are of metal and ligand should be same almost same and third condition is the third condition of uh, this metal uh, complexes formation in LFT is if two orbitals orbitals which are combining if they are of unequal energy if they are of unequal energy then bonding molecular orbitals will have more characteristic characteristic of lower energy atomic orbitals and if antibonding molecular orbitals they have more characteristic of higher energy atomic orbitals so they have more energy they are similar energy to that of so these abmos they can be said to have more characteristic they are, they are similar to the characteristic of higher energy atomic orbitals and they are similar to the characteristic of low energy atomic orbitals so these are different conditions of overlapping of or combination of two atomic orbitals having different energies so we are uh, we start with the formation of octahedral complex octahedral complex and in octahedral complex we will consider about sigma bonding first we will consider sigma bonding so if we consider an octahedral complex then its geometry can be considered as the ligands are present at six corners of uh, this octahedral geometry so this is L, L3 and this is L4 then L5 L6 if this is X axis this is Y axis this is Z axis so six ligands they have six ligands they have six P orbitals which can form sigma bond with the metal orbitals okay so for considering a uh, formation of octahedral complex and uh, we must consider four step a four step process describes the application of mot to sigma bonding in these complexes so the first step is classification so first step is classification classification of which classification of metal orbitals so classification of metal orbitals which orbitals of metal they can participate in sigma bonding so as we know that the central metal atom in an octahedral complex is sp2 sp3d2 hybridized so one s orbital three p orbitals and two d orbitals they participate in hybridization so according to symmetry we can group these orbitals into uh, different groups so dx square y square and dz square they are they participate in sigma bonding so this s can be represented as a1g and this p orbital it can be represented as t1u and this can be represented as e so these are the this is the classification of these six orbitals they participate these six orbitals of metal so this see these six orbitals of metal they participate in sigma bonding in octahedral complex now the second step is formation of LGOs. So formation of LGOs means LGOs means ligand group orbitals. So ligand group orbitals first of all 
all the uh, six ligands all the six ligands this is sorry ex, uh, ligand group and this is ligand group orbital orbitals so the six ligands they have six sigma p orbitals these six sigma p orbitals they can form sigma bond with metals thus forming an octahedral geometry so each ligand one ligand it has three p orbitals three filled p orbitals okay out of these three p orbitals one p orbital it participate in sigma bonding and other two p orbitals they will participate in pi bonding okay so formation of lgo these the the six p orbitals of ligands they will combine to form six ligand group orbitals which can further combine with uh, they have symmetry adopted symmetry adopted linear combination that is sark with the metal orbitals so these ligand orbitals they are there are uh, there will uh, be six ligand orbitals six ligand orbitals which can overlap with the which can overlap with the six metal orbitals so this we have considered already as sigma 1 this is sigma 2 this is sigma 3 this is sigma 4 sigma 5 and sigma 6 this is l1 this is l3 l4 l2 l5 and l6 so the orbitals which are along the axis which can form the sigma bond with the ligand group orbital so this is the ligand group orbital this is the ligand group orbital all the p or all the uh, six ligand orbitals ligand p orbitals they combine they combine to form ligand group orbital of this kind so this is the ligand group orbital and this ligand group orbital it is going to overlap with this s orbital this is s orbital of metal and this is lgo so this is lgo its name it can be written as sigma s so this lgo can interact with this s this can combine with this S uh, in bonding manner or in anti-bonding manner. So the the, uh, uh, the uh, this sigma S is equal to the LGO. Uh, we can define the normalization wave function of this LGO sigma S is equal to one upon root six sigma one plus sigma two plus sigma three plus sigma four plus sigma five plus sigma six. So, if we consider this positive part to be uh, pointed towards the this metal atom, so the all are positive. All the positive parts are towards the metal center. So, if this will combine with this, this will form a uh, this will form uh, a bonding molecular orbital, and it can also combine with the s orbital within uh, with a anti bonding fashion. So, it can also combine. So now we can consider this is one ligand group orbital now we can consider the other ligand orbital and the ligand other ligand orbital this is the uh, lgo so lgo which can combine with the px orbital now we can draw the px orbital so this is px orbital and this is x direction this is y direction and this is z direction so <coughs> now these are the this is the lgo which can linearly combine with the px orbital of metal so this is the lgo so this lgo if p orbital is like this so this lgo the normalized wave function of this lgo is sigma x so sigma x is equal to root 2 then it is sigma 1 and it is sigma 2 so this is the positive pole uh, this is the positive wave 
of the orbital and this is a negative part so this made it an as negative so this is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 so we can see that this positive pole is towards metal and this negative part is towards the metal so <coughs> this is the ligand group orbital which can combine with the px orbital of metal now the other uh, orbital lgu which can combine with the py orbital which can combine with the py orbital this is y direction so this is sigma 3 and this is sigma 4 and this is P or py orbital this is py orbital of metal so this is the orbital which can combine with this ligand group orbital and this ligand group orbital is sigma y and its normalized wave function is like this sigma 3 minus sigma 4 so again we can see that <coughs> this is the positive part of this p orbital and this is the positive part of this p orbital and this is the positive part of this py orbital so this orbital when mixed with this this can form a bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital so this is the lgo which can combine with this p orbital now we can consider the other uh, other lgo other lgo other lgo which can combine with the pz orbital pz orbital of metal orbital so this is if this is pz orbital this is in pz direction so this will be the lgo which will which is going to combine this is sigma 5 and this is sigma 6 so these orbitals so normalized wave function is sigma z and it equals to under root 2 sigma 5 minus sigma 6 because it can be represented as this so this is this one so this will going to combine with this in anti bonding as well as bonding fashion and then uh, these are the four ligand group orbitals now the sixth one six one is Six seven uh, or the six ligand uh, the five fifth ligand orbital is going to overlap or combine with the uh, dx square y square and other with the dz square. So if this is x, this is y, and this is z. Okay. So the dx y uh, dx square y square orbital of metal can be represented as this. This is dx square y square and we can show this orbital as this and the ligand group orbital which can uh, linearly combine with this orbital is this so this ligand group orbital it can linearly combine with the dx square y square orbital <coughs> of metal in two manners that is positive positive overlap and positive negative overlap so this is dx square y square orbital of matter and this is lgo which can combine with this dz orbital of metal so this normalized wave function is equals to 1 upon 1 upon 2 this is sigma 1 this is sigma 2 this is sigma this is sigma 1 this is sigma 2 sigma 3 and this is sigma 4 so now it is equals to sigma 3 you can see this is positive minus sigma 1 this is negative then sigma 4 this is positive and then sigma 2 it is negative negative part towards its side so this is the normalized wave function of this orbital and then last one uh, last orbital <coughs> that is dz square orbital uh, that can be represented as uh, with the digital square, square orbital uh, which can combine with the this lgo so this is the lgo which can combine with dx d z square orbital of metal so it can be represented as this this is sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma 4 sigma 5 sigma 6 so <coughs> if this is dz square orbital of metal so this is dz square orbital of metal this is diffuse type and it can be represented as this so this is dz square of metal and it can be shown as uh, this can be shown as this the lgo should be like this which can combine with the metal dz square orbital of this so this is <coughs> sigma z square so G sigma z square is equal to 1 upon root 12 its normalized wave function is and uh, that is <coughs> 2 sigma 5 plus 2 sigma 6 minus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 
minus sigma 4. So this is the normalized wave function and this is Tz square orbital of matter and this can combine with this LGO in two uh, manner is positive positive overlap and positive negative overlap. The third step in the formation of metal ligand sigma body. So third step is formation of molecular orbitals. So now ligand group orbitals they will linearly combine in sulk manner and with the metal orbitals of the same symmetry and they can form three types of new orbitals that are bonding molecular orbitals, anti-bonding molecular orbitals and non-bonding molecular orbitals. So one by one we can show the different uh, or molecular or formation of different molecular orbitals with the help of these diagrams. So this is the LGO, this is LGO which can, which is going to overlap with the metal S orbital in two manners, in positive positive manner and in negative positive manner of overlapping. So we can see then these are, so this is the S orbital of metal, this is the S orbital of metal and how these combine with this metal orbital this is the this combination is of plus plus and minus minus type and this combination we can see this combination this is a type of plus minus or minus plus overlapping so if we can see that this is plus this is plus these all are plus if if we consider that the all the positive part of this ligand group orbitals they are towards the metal and here we can see that the plus part plus part of this metal ligand group they are towards the negative part of this metal ligand orbital. So this is ABMO and this is BMO, bonding molecular orbital. So this is bonding molecular orbital. It, it can be uh, written as A1G and it can be written as A1G star. Then we can see the combination of other um, <coughs> ligand group orbitals with the metal orbitals having the same symmetry. So now we are considering the uh, overlapping of Px orbital of metal with the ligand group orbitals in two manner that is plus plus overlap and plus minus overlap so this can be considered as this now we can show this is a positive positive overlap or negative negative overlap and this is positive negative and negative positive overlap so in this we can see that this is positive, this is positive, this is negative, this is negative. So this is negative, negative, positive, positive overlap. And here this is negative, positive, negative, positive. So this is negative, positive or positive, negative overlap. So this is the formation of anti-bonding molecular orbitals. This is BMO. So these are the combination of Px orbital of metal with the LGO. So <coughs> formation of these kind of molecular orbitals. Now we can uh, represent all the 3P orbitals formation of molecular orbitals in all the 3p orbitals so if this is py this is py so this orbital is py of metal this is py of metal and this is this is a y direction this is y axis so these are the different molecular orbitals which can be formed by the positive positive overlap of metal and these are the positive negative overlap so this can be written as this is plus, this is minus, this is a plus, this is minus. So this is ABMOs. This is antipondy orbital while this this is positive positive or negative negative overlap. So this is BMO. This is bonding molecular orbital of PX. Uh, this is PY for PY with the LGOs. Then next one is we can also show the combination of PZ orbital. So combination of PZ orbital is like this. So again there may be the chances of two overlapping, two combinations that are positive positive and negative negative overlapping or this is positive negative or negative positive overlapping. This is, this can be corrected as this one and this is like this. So this is. <coughs> 
positive positive negative negative this is positive negative positive negative so this is the formation of ebmo and this is the formation of bmo here the overlap is positive positive or negative negative here the overlap is negative positive or positive negative this is the z direction and this is the z direction and this is the metal pz orbital so this there are formation of three the p orbitals will combine to form three bonding mos and three anti bonding mos okay now we can show the combination of the other two orbitals that are remaining one they are dxy dx square by square and dz square so this is the dx square by square this is the dx square y square orbital of metal and this can be written as this this is again the dx square y square orbital of metal and these are the lgos which are going to combine with the metal dx square by square orbital so this can be represented at this so here we can see the positive positive overlap well in this case we can see the positive negative overlap like this this is positive this is positive this is positive this is positive negative negative this is negative this is negative this is positive negative okay positive negative negative positive this is negative this is positive so here the overlap is negative positive or positive negative here the overlap is positive positive or positive positive or negative negative so this is bmo and this is a b m now the overlapping of last orbital we can show with the help of this diagram that is dz square orbital this is dz square orbital and with this this is the ligand orbital which can overlap or which can combine in two manners one is in anti bonding manner and other is in bonding manner so these are the lgos of ligands and we can show uh, the combination like this so this is dz square of metal the combinations are like this so this is positive positive overlap and this is positive negative overlap so this is negative positive overlap so this is again dz square orbital of metal and this can be shown by this is positive this is positive negative 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 positive positive this is negative 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 overlap well in this case negative positive positive negative negative positive negative positive negative positive and negative positive overlap so this is negative positive positive negative overlap this is positive positive or negative negative overlap so this is bonding molecular orbital and this is anti bonding molecular orbital of sigma bonding in octahedral complexes is the construction of molecular orbital energy level diagram so molecular orbital energy level diagram can be formed by the linear combination of we can construct the molecular orbital level diagram by arranging the metal orbitals on the left side and lgos orbital energy order in the right side and these two will combine to form molecular orbitals in the central part so this will give an idea about the molecular orbital energy level diagram of sigma bonded octahedral complexes so we can arrange the order of energy the, the lowest energy is of sigma lgos so there are six sigma lgos then the energy of d orbitals of metal then the energy of ns orbital s orbital then the energy of p orbital of metal so these are metal orbitals and these are lgos 
then these and these can be classified as this can be classified as ag plus t2g these ns orbitals they can classify as a1g and these can classify as t1u then these can also be classified as a1g plus t1u plus eg so we can see that in l0 there is a1g a t1u and eg and in case of this metal orbital there is eg t2g a1g and t1u so these t2 orbitals they have no symmetry match with these of l0 so they will remain as such in the molecular orbital diagram so they will remain in the similar energy and these are known as non bonding molecular orbitals then this a1g will combine with the a1g symmetry orbitals of ligand and form a1g bonding molecular orbital this is form sigma bond and then this t1u orbitals of metal they will combine to form t1u sigma bond that orbital molecular orbital with this lgos orbital then this even eg orbitals of metal they can combine with the eg symmetry of metal then they can form bonding orbitals of sigma bonded molecular orbitals then this t1u as these are bmos these are six bmos so formation of six abmos will also takes place like this so this t1u of metal and t1u of lgos they can together combine to form t1u sigma star or anti bonding molecular orbital then a1g of metal will combine with the a1g of ligand group orbital and form a1g anti bonding molecular orbital and then a1g of the metal it can combine with the eg of lgo and it will form anti bonding molecular orbital like this and this difference is known as delta o and this is ligand field stabilization energy so this is lfsd for octahedral complex the six lgos of metal atoms they are filled because we are uh, considering the example of sigma donor ligands so all this lgos will are filled and one lgo uh, can be filled with two electrons so there are 12 electrons with the lgos and these bmos because they are near to the energy of lgos so they are ligand character and these are abmos and these are more near to the metal orbitals so they are more they are having more character of metal the all the electrons these are 12 electrons of ligand they are filled in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 they these are six orbitals so all the 12 electrons of ligand they are filled in this abm and the metal electrons will now starting filling in the metal orbitals the the orbitals having metal like character so we can now um, show the filling of electrons in different kind of complexes this delta o will uh, depend upon the type of ligands if strong ligands then this gap will be higher and if the, the ligand was weak then this gap will be lower so according to the nature of ligand the filling of electrons will take place in the molecular orbital of this octahedral complex now filling of electrons in molecular orbital configuration so that depends upon the type of ligand if ligand is stronger then the filling of electron takes place in a different manner and if it is a weak ligand then it will takes place through different manner so if we consider the ligands that are high uh, low low spin complexes low spin complexes means the ligands are stronger so if the ligands of are stronger then formation of low spin complexes will take place so if we 
कंसीडर डी वन डी टू डी थ्री कन्फिग्रेशन देन इन केस ऑफ डी वन कन्फिग्रेशन डी मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल कन्फिग्रेशन विल बी ई वन जी टू डी वन यू सिक्स ई जी फोर देन डी टू जी वन सो दीज थ्री ऑर्बिटर्स दे आर बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटर्स दे आर ऑलवेज फील्ड विथ ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दीज ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फ्रॉम एल जी ओस दी मेटल ऑर्बिटर्स द मेटल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे स्टार्ट फीलिंग इन दी मेटल करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑर्बिटर्स लाइक टी टू जीस दे स्टार्ट फीलिंग फ्रॉम टी टू जी सो लाइक वाइज दिस डी टू कन्फ्यूजेशन द इलेक्ट्रॉन फीलिंग विल बी लाइक दिस either it is low spin complex or it is a high spin complex the filling will like this for d3 configuration the electronic configuration of molecular orbital will like this so there is no effect of high spin or low spin complex so for both low spin and high spin complexes the configuration will remain as such and in case of d4 configuration D5 configuration, D6 configuration, D7. So if it is high spin, then it is low spin. So if it is high spin complex, that means the energy gap is lower. So the electrons in the BMOs will remain the same. T1U6, EG4. Now the electrons in case of high spin complex, the config configuration becomes this. this is common in all complexes but the difference is here so now we are not uh, written writing this bmo we are only given the config so in case of low spin complex it becomes t2g4 in case of uh, this t5 configuration it becomes t2g3 eg2 in case of high spin complex while it becomes t2g5 in low spin complex then in case of t6 configuration it becomes t2g Four, EG two, and it becomes T two G six. Now it becomes T two G five, EG two. While it becomes T two G six, EG one. Now for D eight configuration, T two G five, T two G six, EG two, and it becomes T two G six, EG two. For D nine configuration, it becomes T two G six, EG three, and it becomes T two G six, EG three. In the D10 configuration, it becomes T2G6, EG4, and it also becomes T2G6, EG4. So in these three configuration also, there is no difference in the filling of electrons, and only these there these are four configurations where there is a difference between the electrons filling in the metal type orbitals due to this low spin or high spin complex, or due to the presence of weak field or strong field ligand so so this is all about the formation of octahedral complexes in sigma bonding manner so if sigma bond is formed in case of octahedral complex we can explain the formation of octahedral complex like this now we can conclude our today's lecture in today's lecture uh, we have learned about limitations of cfd then we have learned about lfd how the the nature of metal ligand bonding and how the metal orbitals they interact with ligand orbitals to form sigma bond so this sigma bonding we have learned the sigma bonding in octahedral complexes so in octahedral complexes sigma bonding can be explained or can be learned in four steps number one step is the classification of metal orbitals classification of metal orbitals which are going to combine with the ligand orbitals to form sigma bond then formation of lgo formation of lgos then 
formation of construction of MOED and before construction of MOED molecular orbital energy level diagram the combination of of metal and LGOs to form bonding MOs and anti bonding MOs. So in the next class we will discuss about the pi bonding in octahedral complex, how pi bonding will take place in octahedral complexes with pi donor ligands and with pi acceptor ligands. So till then bye.